Greetings, everyone, and welcome to this tutorial on Microsoft Outlook 2016. Today, I'm going to be showing you some uh, steps, tips, tricks, uh, some features that are probably underused, and you might not have even realized that we're there. And just as a convenience, you can start using them. So, one of the things that with Outlook that is prevalent is there's a million different ways you can do stuff, and so from categorizing things to setting schedules, and there's so many infinite points of uh, granularity that you can set for like preferences and whatnot. There's no way you can cover all that. So what I'm going to cover is some smaller digestible features. And I'm going to start with on the ribbon here, I'm going to start with the home tab. In addition to your like your new email, new items, and most everyone is hopefully comfortable with using this. Maybe not with the Skype meeting part, but one thing I want to really get into is setting up the meetings and I, I think I've done a, uh, a video on this before so I won't get too much into this but yeah you know, let's say I get an email and say hey we should meet together uh, talking about maybe uh, something to plan or we want to go over some some things for next year okay so I'm gonna reply back to this with a meeting right away and so it's got the subject matter already here we have got the location which you can set up by setting up the rooms and I don't know if uh, not everyone's got access to the room so I'm gonna probably uh, clerical probably has access to the rooms I do not but you can just uh, manually put that in here as well if I wanted to also add let's say uh, my supervisor Michael Christofferson if you're not sure of some of the features within this there's also the scheduling assistant to see when he's available so here's uh, here's me here's Mr. Christofferson so the rest of this day he's off he's uh, not in today so let's take a look at Tuesday you know he's got a meeting right away at 730 but then the rest of the day looks pretty good so hey that looks great uh, you can add further attendees and uh, other options do required people see there's there's so many parts to this that uh, you can you can spend a lot of time within here and I think you probably should if you get uh, some free time but uh, take a look at what you know the possibilities are just within this reply back with a meeting option so so that's that feature uh, I'm not gonna save any changes to that the next one is reply back with an instant message this is huge uh, if I started using Microsoft Skype for business it will allow me to cut down a lot on email threads. So if I know that I'm going to email back and forth between uh, myself and a person or a group of people, sometimes you, know, you get that reply all chain where you have like 18 emails in your inbox all of a sudden and none of them apply to you. Well, a lot of that can be done through a uh, Skype for business session to where, hey, how are you? Okay. So, and you send that, I'm not going to send that off to this person. Within this window, I can have a, a continual conversation, just like a t regular text message would be, uh, if you if you're familiar with texting, which I hopefully you are. You can send files, set importance. You can even choose emojis. So you got that going for you. In addition to that, you can also do a video call and present your desktop. A lot of people don't really need that; they just need to talk back and forth, and that's fine. With an uh, instant message piece. You can shrink this down as I just uh, demonstrated there. Let's go back to here. So, with this, one thing I would just want to make sure that uh, people get is that it's not just for video chat and, and audio chat. So, you could use this for text threads. Now, to further this, if I want to add people into the conversation later on, I can. So it's not just, hey, it's me and another person. Hey, let's get someone else's opinion and invite them into that conversation. As I go through, instead of having the 18 email thread like I was mentioning before up in this section up here, now I've got like 18 text threads all in one conversation. So here's a, I wasn't in the office at the time, even though it said I was in. But here I've got, here are you in the office and if I replied back I could have a huge text thread back and forth in here and instead of several emails I've just got one conversation right here the other nice part to this let's go back into that conversation let's see where's my Skype for business 
If you ever see that it's hiding, it's always down in your system tray. Let's open that up. And in the Skype for Business uh, second window, the main window, I can view my conversations in here. And if I open one up, let's see, if I, let's say double click on this one. I uh, must have missed this conversation as well. But since this was May 18th, I can pick this conversation back up. Great feature to use. That way you don't have to sift through a mountain of email to go back, you know, several emails ago. And, and many of you probably get tons of email already. So, all right. And so that's the reply back to features. And I'm already getting into the weeds a little bit more than what I really wanted to on just on this side. Uh, some other features I wanted to get into before I, I cut this off and move on to another uh, video is to block sender, never block sender, not block their domain. So like the at symbol. So if you get a lot of junk email, that's a good one to do. And then also fil uh, filter through your junk email options. And so there's some safe senders, some blocked senders, which I have tons of already. And uh, just a way for you to cut down on the clutter because you don't have time for clutter. So, and then ignore conversations. So if if you're getting other conversations um, through Skype or through other email threads, you can turn those off. And so um, probably don't want to do that if your uh, supervisor is trying to get a hold of you. Clean up conversations, folders, and whatnot. I, you know, I don't use that a whole lot, so uh, something might be interested in finding out more let me know so i'm going to end that here and then uh, i'm going to move on to the uh, the other half of this uh, ribbon in uh, in the home menu and so thanks for watching and look forward to that